Hi everyone, uh, this is Natalie and this is another morning breeze. I'm out here by the water. It's just a wonderful, beautiful time and just uh, having a beautiful moment in the presence of God. And a song is singing on my heart. <clears throat> uh, one of my aunts actually introduced me to this song a while back. Um, it's an oldie but a goodie. My God delivers again. Oh, my God delivers again. Just when things look hopeless, oh, he reaches down his hands. That's when all the forces of evil will have to flee at his command. Oh, just when things look hopeless, my God delivers again. Hallelujah. And that song was so encouraging to me this morning because sometimes it feels like things are really hopeless. Like there's nothing that you can really cleave to to believe that things will ever change, that situations will turn around, that your life can be different, that you can walk a better path or see a happier day. But I'm here to tell you this morning that we serve a God who delivers again. Look at, I just want to show you something. If you look at all that is around you, all the trees, all the wildlife, you see some birds flying, some geese playing in the water. Our God created all of that. He created every last thing. He created the hands that we have, the teeth that we eat with, the smiles that we have. He crafted those things. But when it comes to our life circumstances, I will admit, even for myself, sometimes it's hard to believe that that same God who created the universe can really craft our situation and, and change it and, and make it new and, and restore and rebuild. I know it's hard, but I'm here to tell you today that our God delivers again. Oh my God delivers again. When it seems like hope is lost, He reaches down His hands. And that's when all the forces of evil will have to flee at His command. Oh, just when things look hopeless, my God delivers again. Hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you guys today. Enjoy the day. It's so beautiful. Enjoy life. Get out there. Have some fun. Read your Bibles, get into the Word, spend some quality time with God, and you will gain back that strength and gain back that hope and, and really get to connect with the God of the universe who creates things and who restores things and who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think. Sometimes it's not so much that we don't believe, but that we don't think that God wants to do it for us. And I'm here to tell someone today who feels like, oh, yeah, I know God can do things. I know I've seen him do it for other people, but I just don't understand why or I don't know if he really wants to do it for me. I'm here to give you a message of hope that yes, God wants to do it for you also. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants you to be free and to have hope and joy and happiness. So today, 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 choose to believe. Choose to believe. Choose to believe that God will do it again. Hallelujah. Have a great day. Bye.